Hey Design Junkies, Jason here. So you have a new idea for a company or a business or a tech startup or even a product. Well, the first thing people are gonna see is your logo. What's gonna grab their attention the most? What colors, what name, what design images? Company logos are very difficult to make and typically people charge a lot of money to make them. But why do that when you can just do it yourself in Photoshop? So we're gonna make up a fictional company and we're gonna make our own logo in Photoshop and I'll show you just how easy it is to do. It might not be Da Vinci's work of art, but it'll be yours and you didn't pay anything to make it. So let's open up Adobe Photoshop and make our company logo. So you have a new business idea and all you need is a logo to represent your brand. So let's look at some of the company logos that are out there by clicking on Google Images. And you'll find a ton. I mean, NBC's Peacock, Starbucks's uh, Woman. Um, look at the logos for all the famous companies out there. Everybody figured out a color, uh, maybe a, an image of some sort or an animal like the Playboy Bunny or Hello Kitty, the Quaker Oats guy. You know, everyone thought of a way to make their brand stand out like Apple. Um, or Android. So let's just imagine that we created a new business for dogs, like a dog messaging app, and you need a nice uh, logo for that. So the first thing I usually do is I look at the font.com to see what kind of fonts I might want to use. Uh, let's call, let's pick a cartoon font just for the hell of it, and let's call this dog chat. Okay, I'm going to pick 100 fonts and hit submit. And I kind of like this first one, Skater Girls Rock. It's a cool little, you know, font. There's a lot of other ones you can choose. Um, but you know what, just to make this easy, I'll pick the first one I found, which is uh, Skater Girls Rock. I don't think I have this. So I'm going to download the font. Okay, I'm going to extract the font. And then I'm going to install the font. Very simple. All right. So now let's go into Photoshop. Let's create a new file. Let's make the file pretty big. Let's make it like mm, eight inches wide and four inches high, 300 resolution. Okay. And let's pick a color for pets. I'm going to pick purple. I don't normally see purple in company logos. So call it dog chat, make the size bigger. Let's pick our Skater Girls Rock font, dog chat. So automatically I have the font I like, I have the, the, uh, uh, the words and the color that I want. I can click on dog chat and, you know, again, I can give it a bevel and a drop shadow, make it stand out a little bit so it just kind of jumps at you. I can even add a little bit of a stroke to it. Maybe not a black stroke, but maybe like a, you know, like maybe like a pink or you know, like a lavender, make it stand out just a little more. So right there, this looks a little better than the regular font. From here, we need an icon. You know, it can't just be a, a word. So let's figure out dog chat. So chat would be a chat bubble. And of course, Photoshop has plenty of those. So we can pick, uh, let's see one of these here. Which one looks kind of fun? This one. I like the one with the with the cloud. So uh, when you when you make these, you want to hold down the shift key because it'll make it uniform. Okay, and let's let's give this a, a color or a gradient overlay. Okay. And let's give it the colors that we have already here. But let's make it lighter. Let's make it a lighter purple. So Maybe like that one there. Yeah, there we go. And then let's change it from top to bottom by doing that, negative 90 for an angle. And let's see how that looks. Okay, we gotta give it a stroke of some sort and a drop shadow because it's missing a little bit of something there. And let's give it the right color stroke. There we go, it's starting to come to life. So dog chat, we can put it over here, put it over there. We can change the, 
angle of it by flipping it horizontal. It'll make it come up from over here. Maybe we can put it up here and then we can move these two down. Dog chat is missing something. I guess a paw, right? We want to put a paw in there. So looks like we already have one. Let's pick Photoshop tools again. And nice and simple, let's put a paw. But this time, let's give the paw a regular solid color, not a gradient of say, like a gray, dark gray. Okay, and it doesn't really need a stroke. I think we're gonna be good to go without the regular uh, stuff in it. And let's see if we can make it a little smaller and make it fit in there. Dog chat. Maybe bring this in a little bit. And it's not perfect, but looks like we got a nice little company logo for our new dog messaging service. Pretty cool. And then I can save it. Nice big file. Dog chat logo and voila dog chat that's how you make a logo it's not that hard to do just get it, some images together that represent your your company name photoshop has a lot of uh, custom shapes and sizes for you you can add some color and some effects to your fonts so they stand out a little bit and you know you can always find images online if you'd like i mean i could have went on to google and typed in, you know, dog paw and found a lot of other different paws. So I could have taken one of these as long as it was under uh, usage rights labeled for reuse with modification or labeled for reuse, for example. Um, I could have used one of these paws if I wanted to, like maybe that one there, for example, with the, the nails on it, because that looks a little better than the one without the nails. Also, chat bubble. Could have found, you know, something different. I could have used this one here or, you know, this one here. I could have used a different one, for example. But you know what? This one looks fine for a company logo just for now. Obviously, it's not perfect, like I said. But this just, the tutorial was meant to show you how to actually create the logo in Photoshop, how to apply the uh, filters and the effects to the layers and how to make it look the way it looks here. If you guys have any ideas for company logos, post them in the comments and I'll be sure to guide you through the process on how to create your company logo. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. If there's ever any tutorial that you want me to create in the future, leave a comment to let me know what it is or you can email me, me at jasonsherman.org. And you can also check out my other tutorials, howto.jasonsherman.org. I'll see you in the next one.